are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Like, it's a constant. This business is not for everybody. I've always been delusionally confident. Really, I'm dying for validation. <laughs> You guys think a lot about what other people think about you. I sure do. Well, we've been talking about that for her. So I guess I'm a good example for her to hang out with a little bit. Totally. It's also, how much, but how much does it really matter? I'm not hurting anybody. I just, why, why waste so much time trying to be liked, sacrificing my own needs? It's just no, there's, it's a silly thing. It's a waste. You have to have a sense of self and if you don't I think that's why we see sometimes things happen and you're like well, wow why did that happen to that person but it's not an easy thing to deal with it's terrifying of course it is and if I wasn't scared I would be really worried and I probably would give up acting someone asked me if uh, after I've done a film or a play if I want people to tell me the truth or a lie and I, I would much rather they told me a lie so this woman that you're playing, she needs a lot of validation for her acting. Yes, yeah, she are does. You, are you anything <laughs> like that? Or are you very confident in yourself now? No, you know, I, I, I am like that. But I've, I've, I know that that's a really dangerous path to go down. So I've put that aside and I never read reviews. I don't often even look at the work if it's on film. I do it and then I let it go and let whatever happens afterwards happen. Um, because really I'm dying for validation. <laughs> How are you with like watching your, your own work? A lot of actors hate it. Oh, Some I people, hate it. you do, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Good. I mean, people hate the sound of their voice when you listen to it back. Have you ever done that? Like having to listen to your voice back, it's terrible. Imagine having to see like your face, but you're acting like someone else and you're like, <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I hate watching myself. It's like torture. I know myself enough to know when to take the praise and when to believe the praise and when to believe the criticism. And you know, because I'm, nobody's more honest with me than myself. I went on stage for the first time dancing when I was about 15. And there you learn who you are immediately because they tell you immediately. You don't wait for reviews. You get the feeling of them and their heart and their mind immediately. I danced all my life. And I perform since I'm three years old. And the idea of being free and being able to go out there and be who we are and be fearless about who we are uh, and, and kind of love it, kind of who we are. <laughs> I think it came from, for me, I think it came naturally, but also from my dancing. But you always seem so confident in yourself as well. Confident? Yes. You're talking to me. I am. You got me confused with somebody else. No. <laughs> I don't really care about people's integrity. I care about my feelings. I don't know how, it, how I came to be this way, but I'm very apologetic and I'm, I'm just, no, I'm, I shouldn't be. I'm, I'm smart, I'm capable, I'm a strong woman in a lot of ways. Why am I, you know? I, you know, I, I was privileged to be raised by two very loving parents uh, who made me and my sisters feel like we could accomplish anything, you know, with hard work. That was the caveat. And, um, and with that, I just felt, you know, they instilled in us a anything is possible type of confidence. It, it's wonderful being the age that I am now and, and, and truly discovering that all of those sort of petty, small anxieties, they just evaporate. They just go away. One of the scenes in the movie as yeah. well, when they look in the mirror and they have to say something. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. Do you do that to yourself sometimes? Are you good at Are telling you kidding? Yourself? I hate my face. What? I, does, doesn't everyone, more or less? You look at that and you go, oh, no, not again. Hi. <laughs> it's just like, well, you know. But when you have to watch yourself in films, though. Do you, do you enjoy it's that? It's not either? easy, no. It's so funny that so many actors say that. They don't yeah, know. and also you don't want to, I mean, when you fantasize and you play a part, you know, you put yourself in this situation emotionally, you know, and then when you see it, you see, oh, that's me again. I've seen enough. So what do you think is the biggest misconception people have about fame? I don't know. I, I don't think they view it as real life. It's like just always perfect or something like, uh, you know, f fame is placed very high on the list of things that are important to um, our, especially, I mean, the whole world, but especially in the States, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's really above, like, wealth, like it's above happiness, it's just fame. Pop up. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Like it's a constant. Uh, 
it doesn't feel good all the time. <laughs> in case people think that that's like, and, and, trust me, you need a lot more. <laughs> you mustn't believe all the, the all the positives, really. Mm -hmm. um, some of them, but you have to get a balance. As otherwise, it's you'd never put one foot in front of another. Yeah. The confidence is deeply embedded in, in here. I, I, you know, it's how you, you lead, you know. I think confidence can be hurt by definitely, an, you know, circumstance, though. I think it can be hurt by feeling being ill. I think oh, it can yeah. be hurt by uh, being jilted. I also have learned that no validation is enough. She says, good? What do you mean good? Good? What do you mean great? You know, what? <laughs> yeah. good's not enough, you know. Um, and then great wouldn't be enough or, you know, it's, it's a terribly dangerous path to go down, so better to let, let it go. You know, they don't see you as a person sometimes. You're just this person on a screen somewhere and, and it's part of the territory. You learn how to deal with it over the years and I think, you know, I've been doing it a long time. Like, I feel like we wake up and we kind of just think about all the things we hate most about ourselves. It's just, it's human nature, I guess, or it's what the media teaches us. It's like, you're too fat, your, your skin isn't nice, and all of these standards we have to live up to, and we kind of have to just block out all that noise and be like, no, I am enough, and I'm good enough, and I am pretty enough, and I'm smart enough. Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel, so please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people, and I hope I see you again soon. Bye.